One, two, three, go. <laughs> Welcome, everyone. It's Jolt, um, and I am in uh, Shimla with uh, Pradeep Sangvan, who is the founder of Healing Himalayas. Um, and uh, I am his guest nowadays. Uh, and uh, we just uh, wanted to uh, talk a little about uh, the Healing Himalayas and uh, the new uh, community in Rishikesh, the Healing Rishikesh. Uh, what we did uh, or organized together. So uh, please, Pradeep, <laughs> introduce yourself. Hey guys, I'm Pradeep Sangwan and I would like to call myself the first volunteer at Healing Himalayas Foundation and uh, the whole movement started started back in 2016. Uh, although I've been uh, trekking for the last 12-13 uh, years now and uh, I've been very close to the mountains. But uh, in last, you know, uh, Uh, four, five, or maybe six, seven years, people have started traveling a lot, trekking a lot, especially uh, Himalayas uh, were the focus point of every, uh, you know, uh, every individual. And now that considering India being one of the youngest nations, because our population is very young nowadays, so people started traveling a lot and they started exploring a lot. Mm-hmm. And uh, that bring uh, out so much of negative point of, uh, you know, tourism. Mm-hmm. And that's where it struck to me that uh, something needs to be done, especially at the remotest part of the Himalayas, where in uh, you know the footfall is very heavy. People started coming a lot for the trekking, and uh, the basic essence to travel and trek was missing somewhere. And I saw it many a times in my life. Uh, I seen people, you know, crying out loud uh, because they were not very well equipped in terms of their training or the equipments. So uh, and then. Uh, Solid beast was the least of the botheration, uh, whether it's local communities or uh, the travelers or trackers. So that's where it got, uh, you know, me interested that I should say my second home in Himalayas, my second home. Uh, that's what I'd like to call. So that's where uh, I started this uh, beautiful foundation, Healing Himalayas. Very nice, you know. You know, it's it's a blessing to meet uh, 30, 35 people every weekend, passionate people who understand the cause. So yes, it's been very beautiful so far. And recently, uh, we started healing Rishikesh also. Uh, the idea is saying that bring out all the people uh, uh, to a, a particular location where the, you know it has been turned into a dump yard sort of thing, mm-hmm. and we collect all the plastic waste and showcase to the community nearby that it can be done. We can keep our surroundings clean. So that's uh, uh, more about uh, you know the initiative and how we are going about it. There are a couple of new things that we are trying to add, and uh, Joseph is here and he's been uh, been a hel- helping hand in Rishikesh. And uh, and coronavirus is uh, holding him back to India. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so so another thing, uh, you know, uh, something uh, very negative uh, going on around uh, all over the world. This pandemic is, uh, you know, very disastrous. Yes. And, um, so yes, uh, how was your experience, by the way, in India, like uh, in terms of uh, engaging people into cleaning drives and all? Uh, actually, uh, when I when I arrived first time in, in India last mm-hmm. year. Uh, at February, um, when I look around uh, in Delhi, mm. I was a little bit shocked um, <laughs> because, because of the population, not the no, traffic. No, or no, the not, not the population, not the uh, not the traffic, uh, yeah. but but the amount of uh, of uh, the the yeah. trash yeah. everywhere, and and uh, the people from the street. Uh, uh, Burned mm. the the oh, yeah, open air and and yeah. they uh, used this uh, uh, plastic to cook yeah <laughs> and and it was uh, so amazing and so shocking for me mm. and uh, I decided th- that uh, year mm. last year that okay. uh, if I come back uh, somehow uh, I I will uh, do, something do, it, yeah. do something do mm. something yeah it's a little bit. Giving back or something, yes, uh, yes. not a, not a big big thing, mm. uh, and and uh, no, eventually small steps matter. Yes, this, yes, you know, and actually mm. this is uh, uh, our base of of uh, our connection <laughs> that I, I found you on Instagram yeah. last year when I was uh, traveling uh, around the Rishikesh and I uh, saw on Instagram uh, the yeah. healing Himalayas. If, That's yeah. very randomly, you know, the Instagram uh, gave me the. Yes, the, the power of social media. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. If you Google about garbage, <laughs> yes, Himalayas yes. cleaning, then you, I'll yeah, pop up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and and I want to uh, wanted to uh, join, but uh, I uh, 
didn't have enough time yeah, yeah. to do this mm -hmm. and uh, and uh, you, maybe you remember I wrote a, a message to you yes, uh, yes. last year yeah. uh, and I invited you to to Hungary uh, to speak about uh, yeah. the healing Himalayas because I think the idea is very very simple and very very good uh, yeah. and and maybe many people can uh, uh, you know it's very simple because yeah. it's so many people uh, been looking around and what can we do as an individual and there are so many yeah. things out there they can do you know yeah. you, you don't need to be an environmentalist your background shouldn't be into solid waste management or social work all you have to do is just to, you know roll your sleeves and go out in the field and pick up some trash and put it in the right direction that's it that's very simplest thing yes. that we can do you know uh, that's how we can change the world yes uh, actually this this uh, mentality is very close uh, to me because uh, last year with the Messalato Egyesület uh, we uh, organized the Simplicity Festival uh, which is uh, mm -hmm. all about uh, the minimalism and, and uh, the art of the simple living mm -hmm. in Hungary mm -hmm. um, which is also a very new thing, yeah, I yeah, think. Yeah. Uh, but here also. But uh, what was your first thought uh, when you started this? Uh, how? What was your goal? Or or? Uh... So I was very, you know, uh, tracking was was one part, but including cleaning into tracking was mm. very difficult. You know how to go about. So I initially I you know uh, started doing all by myself just to experiment that mm. how how to handle the waste. You know while going up should we pick it up or while coming down we should pick it up. So kind of mm. things we needed to figure out and what, what's going to happen to the collected waste, where we're going to uh, take it, what are the nearest facilities. Mm. So it took me a couple of months to figure out that part and uh, you know, the, the, the main uh, you know, the main role was to you know be continuous, consistent about it. Yeah. Uh, that's the only thing that uh, needed to be done, otherwise everything is manageable. So uh, it was a series of uh, you know processes basically. Uh, you go out, track, while going up you pick up all the trash, you know, collect in a bag and keep it there mm -hmm. and while coming back you pick it up again and then bring it back to the base. So individually you can pick up two, three bags, four bags, maximum five to six bags if you are, you know, physically good enough. But uh, then I realized that I need more individuals like me, then that's where I, you know, reached out to people through social media, I started posting out my work. And then I saw there are so many people who wanted to do the same thing but uh, they never had a platform or maybe they needed somebody to you know take up the you know, basic things like somebody can take them along uh, you know I can take them along uh, with me and uh, I can make them you know gui I can guide them basically so yeah, they yeah. need guidance uh, through these trekking routes so that's uh, you know couple of, after a couple of months I started that uh, now I'm uh, you know a kind of pro in it and <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and then I invited more people and uh, first year it was difficult to engage more people because uh, you know social media you know you don't have that kind of reach sometimes so I uh, I gathered whatever the number of people I got through social media and by the end of year end of the 2016 I got a good number of volunteers good number of people who you know uh, at the same thought process and um, Right now, we, as you can see, that whenever we do a cleaning drive, it's like 30, 35, and in Shimla, yeah. if you, because I've been working in Shimla, so we have more than 100 volunteers at a time. So now I can see the change that people, you know, uh, and that's because the, because of the consistency we have, mm. because I've been doing it very regularly, rigorously, and every weekend we organize a cleaning drive. So yes, initially it was difficult in terms of getting uh, like-minded volunteers. Engaging local communities were difficult, but now we kind of established that kind of relationship. The faith between us is uh, good, mm. and uh, we trust each other because uh, you know it's not a one night thing or two night thing. Uh, yeah. It's like we are there always. So they trust us and uh, they put their faith in us, and we do the same. Uh, you so mean we, the local? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mainly the local communities because yeah. that's the community which is there always, and uh, because the rest of the market is floating. Basically, the tourists mm. or trekkers are yeah. coming in there and they're going back. But the you know the collateral damage will be you know uh, they they are the one who will uh, you know face it basically. So now things are getting better, but we need to do more in terms of uh, now we started collecting and we need to create these waste collection centers for ourselves. Uh, once we reach to the base village of the track route, uh, we are uh, you know in the process of building these waste collection centers wherein we can store our garbage, segregate it, and. Uh, you know, send it to the proper recycling mm. channels so that we can recycle it and uh, make it a part of circular economy, circular vision. So that's the whole idea behind it. 
No. <laughs> Actually, I, I have to say to you that uh, he is not a pro, he is a role model actually <laughs> here. And, and everybody uh, talked with him like uh, Mr. Shangwan, <laughs> Shangwan uh, and, and li like this. So, so uh, this is amazing that, uh, that the, the, mm. but, uh, mm. but we, we, um, you know, people feel connected in a way because yeah, sometimes yeah, they, yeah, they, yeah. at some point of uh, everybody's life, they want to do something similar that I've yeah. been doing. Yeah. But because one reason or the other, they, they are not able to do it. So they connect with me through this because I'm kind yes. of living their life also in a yeah. way. So they do their bit in a way, uh, in, in, in many ways basically. Some people, you know, send me gifts, some in, gifts in the sense of gloves, masks, <laughs> yeah. you know, yeah. things like that. <laughs> yeah, actually this is what we experienced uh, when we started the uh, uh, first time without you, uh -huh. the, the cleaning campaign uh, mm -hmm. in Rishikesh. Yeah. Uh, actually, uh, I just uh, woke up at uh, and one Sunday morning and I saw on the mm -hmm. Rishikesh community Facebook group that uh, uh, somebody organized a little event mm -hmm. uh, to clean uh, this uh, area in, in uh, Rishikesh where a lot of cows uh, uh, yeah, live. The sword the yeah, the yeah. Mm -hmm. And and uh, she was uh, uh, Georgia mm -hmm. from from Spain. <laughs> Spain yeah. uh, actually, he's uh, from the UK, but uh, mm -hmm. she lives in uh, Spain. Spain yeah. And and uh, after this uh, event, mm -hmm. we just. Uh, went to a chai shop to drink a chai yeah. and and uh, starting a uh, conversation to mm -hmm. to how can we do this regularly because mm -hmm. uh, we uh, saw at the first moment that uh, if we organize one event mm -hmm. uh, it, it's nothing actually yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, just uh, i think just uh, the local uh, uh, people think ah uh, mm -hmm. Uh, come <laughs> for for engine people do something and go home no, and that's yeah. all yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, because I know you mm -hmm. uh, I wrote a message suddenly to you mm -hmm. and and uh, thank God <laughs> you, you came uh, mm -hmm. and and uh, this thing is started. the timing was perfect <laughs> <laughs> yes actually yes uh, yeah I was about to leave for the mountains and then uh, mm -hmm. we were uh, we were supposed to start our campaigns in Himachal but suddenly mm -hmm. the coronavirus thing took over and. Uh, we had to isolate ourselves and yeah. uh, for the better good. So, but thank God we started some of the campaigns in Rishikesh, and uh, fortunately I was a part of it. All thanks to you guys that you mm. organized all those cleaning guys. So uh, once the this uh, coronavirus will settle down eventually and we get out of our lives, we can yeah. resume our work once yeah. again. Yeah. <laughs> um... Yeah, but uh, actually we had a lot of conversation uh, about this topic, but uh, I have to ask that, uh, you know, this is a little part mm -hmm. of this big thing, but mm -hmm. uh, what do you think, what is the most important thing uh, about uh, this kind of uh, habit or, mm -hmm. or, or uh, pattern mm -hmm. or, or mm -hmm. I don't know, uh, conditioning mm -hmm. yes. uh, about the garden? Behavioral change, basically, yeah. and uh, so there are multiple things related to it, like what is, uh, you know, your behavioral change, uh, lifestyle, uh, minimalistic lifestyle, you can say. Second part is, once you are educated enough, you will ask questions. Mm. And you need to ask the right questions to the right people that uh, what's going to happen to the garbage yeah. that I am generating. And uh, although everybody is trying to minimize, uh, minimize their garbage, but uh, at the same time, everybody produces some amount of garbage, you know. Mm -hmm. it, it, it is impossible, like, uh, or your life is all about zero waste. But that can't be. So uh, the one part is that we need to focus on our uh, minimizing our garbage. Second part is how to dispose our garbage properly, like one of the most eco-friendly ways, and make the uh, you know garbage or add the garbage into value chain. Basically, you know, creating money out of it or creating resources out of it. For example, waste to energy is one of the things uh, which has been very successful in Scandinavian countries. Yeah. And uh, as a government, Indian government is focusing on that also. But we are also trying to develop. You know, local technologies to dispose of it mm. because we have different kind of waste here. Yeah. So that's the second part, and third is, uh, you know, how how to you know engage people as a community, like how to make them responsible as a village. If the whole village is not responsible enough, I as an individual or an organization, if I go to them, I'll be there for some time. I can educate them, but I can't work all my life there. So they need to be you know taking up the responsibility. They need to feel that this is our area and uh, they, mm. they should have some belongingness to the particular uh, environment they live in. So that, that's the kind of, uh, you know, pride or sense that should prevail in everybody's yeah. head 
and that can only be you know uh, done when we engage into ground action so basically the whole the fundamental of it is that education through ground action you know engage them into ground activities take yeah. them out and then eventually show them that this problem can be solved yeah. you know and eventually we can go to the next level so we, we are at the very bottom of it the very bottom of it is do not litter yeah. and second is do not produce that much yeah. do not use that much you know reduce <laughs> reduce, 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 reduce recycle yeah, yeah. yeah. so that's that's the one thing so we are at the very bottom of it and we recently addressed this problem that waste is a problem and it can be you know a source of economy as well yeah. um, we are moving into that direction and um, considering that we are a big population it will take us some time but we are doing good yeah. we, we are you know But as an individual, I can say that in last four five years, we've been able to engage more than seven to eight thousand people yeah. into our training drive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and uh, there are so many people, you know, uh, they come as a volunteer to us, and when they go back, they they are an investor of cleanliness uh, mm. and you know healing matter. So that's the whole idea that uh, as an individual or as an organization, I can. Mm. Yeah, I think uh, India uh, react very fast to yeah, uh, yeah, this yeah. situation mm-hmm. because uh, last year when I was in Rishikesh, mm-hmm. everywhere uh, they use uh, plastic straws, mm-hmm. and 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 this year everywhere uh, paper straws yeah, or, yeah. or nothing, no, no, and no, and yeah. this is a very good thing, and yeah. and everywhere uh, mm-hmm. big uh, painted walls about the reduce, uh, rethink, uh, yes, yes. recycle, mm-hmm. uh, and. But this is the uh, this is one part, mm-hmm. and other other part is the the disposal. Uh, now the the over consumption and the over mm-hmm. over uh, production. So uh, in our culture, we are not very used to you know consume too much, or mm-hmm. our you know per capita uh, you know waste production is very less. But the population mm-hmm. is too high that it yeah. is eventually yeah. you know yes. compromised. So uh, we are very uh, you know concerned, and uh, you know. We, in that manner we don't really consume that much and we don't really produce that much but at the same time uh, you know the population is too big so yes mm. uh, we, we are working on it <laughs> and what do you think uh, what is the missing uh, missing thing uh, to the uh, the people uh, take their uh, own responsibility about so this i think uh, the one thing that i find is uh, actually two things one is mm. uh, the belongingness to a particular area mm. and the second is Uh, you know, putting trust in each other. So uh, when when I talk about belongingness, it's like uh, if somebody who lives in Delhi, he is not originally from Delhi, but he's uh, moved from some other place to Delhi. He he don't connect with the city. Yeah. But in villages, you can uh, you know create that uh, feeling of belongingness, basically. Yeah. So because this is their village and they have to live here, their ancestors been living here, and uh, their uh, upcoming generation will be yeah. here. So that that's the kind of uh, belongingness you can create into them. And because uh, uh, their surroundings is their livelihood, basically. Yeah. You know, if you keep them clean, uh, they give you give back to you in many ways. So that's what we have to teach them. They know it, but you know, if everybody on the same board, then they they feel it better. Because if one and then second part is like connected to it. If one individual starts doing it, another another doesn't do it. Uh, so the trust factor is not there. Like yeah. if I go out and reach out to you, that we should keep our village clean, and you laugh it off. then uh, the whole idea you know goes down down to the drain so we need to connect like and if you don't understand my uh, you know vision opinion, uh, yeah, opinion yeah. or vision then i have to do it alone and i have to do it long enough so that yeah. they can understand that it is important and they are not bluffing mm. so these are the two important facts very basic but very important as well like as a society we need to grow together yeah so that's uh, that's one of the things that's been missing and even uh, when you talk about like for example municipal corporations mm. there's a huge gap between the worker and the top Management. Yes, they are not connected to what to each other in a very positive manner. So uh, they don't trust each other. Basically, the top, uh, you know, boss uh, and then worker on the field. So they need to connect together to solve this problem. So because uh, without each other, it's nothing. And together, it's everything. Yeah, but uh, fortunately, you you can reach the top uh, level of the of the <laughs> I'm society. I'm trying my best, and yeah. there are good people coming out now yeah, to, yeah. to support it. And yeah. uh, I've been blessed. The last couple of years, people are you know. because everybody can people who are you know educated or aware or concerned mm. uh, they can feel it coming like uh, it's not like corona virus mm. started today and people started dying day after tomorrow uh, in climate change it's indirect very indirect like if you burn plastic uh, right outside your house it might impact you in a couple of years or maybe yeah, after, yeah. after a decade or, yeah. or so so it's not very immediate threat so people don't take it seriously uh, for example now 
uh, people more in, in india uh, on people are dying more on the road uh, because road safety they don't wear helmet yeah, yeah. but as soon as the you know coronavirus started spreading people rushed to, to the medical shops to buy masks but yeah. nobody is going out to buy health as you can see everywhere <laughs> yeah. yeah actually yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. so um, you know that's the thing so the deterrence is also important part like people mm-hmm. should be afraid also at some point of time that climate change is happening it's real it's out yeah. there and mm-hmm. you can see the consequences but uh, you know everybody thinks that if i'll uh, if i'll start doing something about it it won't change much so, yeah. but it matters like if you well, start it, doing, it matters yeah. and just for example 10 or 20 years mm-hmm. later mm-hmm. not not suddenly yeah, yeah. and mm-hmm. and it's very hard mm-hmm. uh, i know Uh, but but the other thing that is very interesting to me that uh, in uh, one hand the 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 people uh, have a big uh, mm, how can i say houses cars <laughs> no no uh, <laughs> very close uh, connection with the nature yeah and 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 the and res- respect the mm-hmm. nature mm-hmm. but the other hand uh, throw away and litter uh, mm-hmm. everything it's, it's, it's just like the trekkers who are coming to the mountains they mm-hmm. come there to uh, you know see what blessing mm. you know they they want to enjoy some peaceful time some kind of solitude mm. you know uh, nirvana moksha <laughs> kind of thing but you yeah. you uh, you live at the same place and ah. you play loud music at the same place so w- yeah. what kind of uh, you know samsara or nirvana you're looking for yeah. you know that's that's very uh, it's not uh, you know how would i say it? like you come to a place and you destroy it in terms of seeking some blessing you know yes. so it's not uh, a very nice way to you know So you need to connect uh, uh, to the environment, to the nature, to the mountains in a better way. There are uh, deeper uh, meanings that you need to seek out because there are, uh, and yeah. that's what you are looking for. But in the process of doing that, you end up uh, destroying it. So mm. that's that's not uh, the way it should be. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, if you have to collect all of the things about the healing uh, Himalayas mm-hmm. and everything that you did. Uh, what is your key words about this this for like a take home message the most important words mm-hmm. about this so it's not important see, it's not important to participate with us only like you come down for a trek with mm-hmm. me and i'll take you out for a trek and you clean the trash that, that's not important the more important part is you need to take care of your surroundings you know mm-hmm. wherever you are you can do so much uh, and uh, you don't need to join some organizations to make difference create mm-hmm. difference and uh, create make your life more sustainable wherever you are you can do a lot so uh, it's not not necessary that people you know they complain a lot uh, that i am working i'm doing a job so i can't come to yeah, the mountains yeah. i can't participate with you it's a good feeling yes as a community we come together and we go out for a trek yeah it's a good community and everybody feel positive about yeah. it but at the same time if you are not able to do it you do it wherever you are that's that's the most important thing i think yeah, yeah. so a, connect <laughs> do something yeah, and yeah, take yeah. small steps yeah yeah steps, small no? yeah, yeah. yeah small steps are the biggest you, you know as I, i always say this um, you know i'm a simple man trying to change the world <laughs> in the most simplest way <laughs> yeah <laughs> so that's Actually, that's how yes, it is yes, you know yes. i'm i'm focusing on the basics because you know cleaning is not a rocket science you don't have to be you know <laughs> yes. into nasa or isro somewhere yeah. and uh, you go out put on some gloves do the cleaning just a small patch clean it and that's it it will be a happy feeling yes uh-huh. thank you so much thank you <laughs>